Hi friends, I'm Dr. Jennifer Jacqueline, your doom teacher. Today's topic is about an organic irritant poison, Semicarpus anacardium. This topic is important for us to identify as a spotter. Sometimes it's been asked as a picture question in your NEAT PG. Right, so let us know the different names how this Semicarpus anacardium is called as. So it's also called as marking nut, dobies nut, billawall, oriental cashew nut so during the british time the dobies used to mark numbers or inscribe numbers on the clothes for identification so this particular ink which is produced by the semicarpus were used to write over the clothes sometimes they may ask you by different names you should have to identify it so when it comes to toxicology there are two important things must know one is the active principle of the poison and the medico legal importance of the poison Right. So before going on to that, first let us know how we will be able to identify the Semicarpus anacardium if it is given to us. So if you see that I'm having this Semicarpus in my hand, so it looks like a heart shaped nut and it has a basal projection. So I remember this, it looks like a black color strawberry. Okay, but never write this in the answer sheet, but just for an understanding sake, it looks like a black strawberry. So if you crush this nut, you will be able to get a black oily juice. So this juice plays a vital role in causing all the effects on the body, right? So let us see the active principles. There are two most important active principles by the name suggests semicarpol and bilavanol. Okay, these two are the very important active principles must know. Whereas there are other active principles also which are called as catechol, cardol, anacardocyte. Okay, but among these better to remember this semicarpol and bilavanol. Right? And next moving on to the effects. What does it do the body if this semicarpus come in contact? So two things we need to remember. One effect on the skin and the other which has effect on when ingestion. Right? So when it is been coming in contact with the skin, like we first saw, it is it is a type of organic irritant. So when this irritant poison comes in contact with the skin, first it causes irritation, right? And then you will have a redness followed by that irritation and followed by you will have a blister formation, which is a bleb with fluid filled. And once it breaks off, it forms a vesication or an ulceration. So this semicarpus is potential of producing an artificial bruise. Okay, that we need to know. So which of the poisons which cause artificial bruise, semicarpus is also on the list. So while ingesting, this comes in contact with the mouth. So around the mouth, you may have blisters. And once it's being ingested, when it's going to the GI tract, there may be this pharyngeal pain, esophageal pain and abdominal pain. And following the abdominal pain, there may be a sense of purging or there may be vomiting, right? And due to receptor effects, there may be hypotension, tachycardia and, and ultimately the person may result in coma. Following which we should know about the fatal dose and fatal period. The fatal dose is about 10 seats okay it's about like five to eight seats but we'll take a round off of 10 seats to remember and next the fatal period would be about one day precisely 12 to 24 hours but to remember you remember it as one day right and next after we know all the features and the fatality let's know how we need to treat it right so since it comes in contact it's caused irritation the first thing you do is wash it with soap and water Right? And the next on ingestion, what do you do? You need to decontaminate it. You need to wash it out. So how do you do it? There are two methods. So one, you can give activated charcoal. So this activated charcoal, instead of the poison getting absorbed into the body, this activated charcoal takes up the poison. It absorbs the poison. So the other method is by cathartic. So cathartic is nothing but you're purifying or purging out the GIT, whatever has gone inside and next you may give some demulsions like milk so that it soothes the git and the last one would be supportive measures or symptomatic treatment right the last and the most important part is the medical legal importance right so usually uh, the manner of poisoning is important whether it is by accident or homicide or suicide so this semicarpus is mainly or mostly poisoned accidentally so for scenario we take, so when we crush this nut, we get this juice like an oil, right? So sometimes the quacks may 
use this oil for a remedy for joint pain you know, and it may cause a contact dermatitis so accidental poisoning may happen right and the next one is artificial bruise like we saw in the clinical features and the third one is it is possible of producing abortion okay it is used as an abortifacient this material can be injected through the abortion stick into the cervix and abortion can be induced it goes into criminal abortion and the next one would be charging of a false assault like suppose someone want to charge a person of uh, false assault they may induce this juice into their eye and pretend as though they have some effect on the eye because of someone has assaulted him so malingering and producing a false allegation on someone for assault is possible with semicarpus so this is all about semicarpus anacardium one you should be able to identify by seeing the nut next you should know the active principle third you should know the medico legal importance so this was a question which was asked in your neat pg 2021 where they display a picture of this marking nut and they were asked write the active principle of the picture shown so first we should be able to identify the seed and then we'll be able to easily know what is the active principle so if you feel this video is useful kindly share it to your friends and i'll meet you all in the next video let's have a happy learning